Hello, I'm Silent Knight, and I've been working with Reddit user Xcora for a while now, and we've been trying to get a stream from a PS Vita using Zerpy's USB streaming plugin to display and run at 30 FPS on a Raspberry Pi Zero. And we've done it. Um, and this is quite the achievement because the Raspberry Pi Zero is a very low power device. And getting anything close to HD video to output smoothly on it is very difficult. We didn't just need the video to play back smoothly either. We needed low latency. I mean, we're gonna be gaming on this. Some might wonder why we wanted to do this and why we spent so much time on it um, when you can just easily output to a Windows computer and play it back smoothly that way. And the reason for this is that Windows computers are expensive and we wanted to create a Switch-like dock where you just plug it in and you can play without needing an expensive computer. I'm not personally involved in the dock project, Xcora has that down, but this will allow people to use the less expensive Raspberry Pi Zero to DIY their dock if they want. Um, now the more expensive Pis can output at 60 FPS and with better quality, but some of you might already have a Pi Zero lying around and this is just a great thing for that. Now this does rely on overclocking, so I can't guarantee this will work with every Pi Zero. You might have bad silicon. Also, because of the amount of tweaks that we've had to make to this thing to get it to work this smoothly, um, I hope that we can image this drive and then give out the image so that other people can just burn the image to their SD card easily and not have to go through all everything that we went through. My Pi is a Pi Zero W model, the wireless model. Um, it will require me to get a hold of a regular Pi Zero so that I can image that and have two images. Uh, but I think that will be the better solution for these because of just because of the sheer amount of tweaks that we had to make to it. Let me be clear though, if you want better quality and higher FPS, then you're going to want to buy a more expensive Pi. But as you can see in this video, it really makes no difference for games that only run at 30 FPS anyway. Um, only a slight visual decrease, and it's not really all that noticeable, honestly. Now, how's latency, you might ask? Well, latency is actually pretty good. I'm going to play um, Persona 5 Dancing here just to show you that, well, it's playable. Keep in mind I'm using a PS3 controller with it, using Zerpy's PS3 controller plugin. And, well, that plugin... I don't know how it is with the DualShock for the PlayStation 4 controller version, but um, the PS3 controller does have quite a bit of latency on it. So most of the latency is actually coming from that plugin and not from the Pi Zero. And even with that, this rhythm game is still very playable. Now all we have to do for a Switch like dock is wait for Xcore to finish his project. I'm hoping this dock that he produces will accommodate a Pi Zero and a Pi 3. Because some people won't care about 60 FPS, but I do, and I will gladly pay the extra money for that. Um, especially because I play the Vita so much. Now there's a few technical things we need to finish with this project and um, in my opinion one of the things we need to do is make it so that whenever the Vita is plugged in it just automatically comes up and that's easy to do. Um, however the hard part is the second thing that we need to do which is shut it down when it's unplugged. I want to get it so that we don't need a keyboard or mouse to start the program. Now we're really just tinkers, and the real MVP is Zerpy, who did all the low-level stuff with the Vita to get all this stuff working in the first place. But yeah, I'll just end this by saying I'm just very surprised that this Pi Zero can handle this. I mean, it's only got a single core processor in it, and it can't even browse web pages very well, so this is insane. You'll likely hear more from this project in the coming weeks. I really don't know what Xcore has in store, but I'm excited for whatever it is. Peace.